Okay, this is our first outing. Raw trailer footage of the GoPlay 26BH. Right there. I know there's not a lot of videos out there yet. So you can show you guys how it looks when you show up your very first time without ever doing this. What you got cooking in here? Sammy's. Oh, she's Throw got some sandwiches. Sammy's. Sandwiches in there. Yep, 26 BH comes with an oven. We're gonna try and do some uh, cinnamon rolls. Here, got the bunks, completely full of stuff. And got that. Let's see, we put these suckers up. Those don't come when you buy this thing. Um, what else is in here? We put this on. All that we just got off Amazon, it don't matter. What you got in there? Hmm? Got your forks. Oh, that's a big drawer. Yeah. Uh, what's another one? This one? Yeah. And the one below that. Oh. Got some User cooking room. utensils in there. And spices. Oh man, spices. And then up under here, stuck some stuff to the door. Try and help us out. Little dust pan, broom, garbage can. Um, what did I miss? Oh, up under here. We got some pans. It's got a little bit of room in there. Let's see here. I did, I did not show you guys this. I put her curling irons clear up under there on the back side. I don't know if that's good or not. And you got yourself first aid kit, some stuff in here. Nice mirror. And storage up under these, which is super cool. Storage up under this one as well, up under there. Uh, water heater's in the very back. It's like a six gallon or something. Um, this one's got just outlets up top, outlets and USB down below. And they each have lights. Oh, because they're on light. yeah, they do have lights. Right here. Bam! And then this is a super cool view out the back window today. And... Up front, we got little Rennie sleeping, so we won't go in too far. But you've got some wicked storage, though. Storage up here. No, I won't do it right now. But under this is all that storage, and this is on struts, so it lifts clear up and it stays up until you're you're done with everything. And this is a bed with storage underneath as well. You can bring your table if you want. We got Logue with the hot dogs. Thanks for the food. <laughs> we got ourselves a little temperature gauge with a humidity sensor as well. It's almost 80 right now. And we got the water pump on. Electrical awning. Awnings out. Storage all full of stuff. That's how it looks when you're camping. I don't want to make it glamorous because it isn't. <laughs> you're just out having a good time. That's all that matters. A little walk around. The jacks are surprisingly quick. They really lower very quick. And then on the back, I bought this little adapter so that we could put our bikes on. And we just drove from Farmington to Moab and it was three and a half hours and they did awesome. They're on there just as good as on the back of a car, really. Yeah. And that is the outside. Pretty stinking cool. I would definitely recommend one of these for the price. Freaking awesome. And this is the view that we could go play around with all weekend. All right. It's been two days since uh, since we went out and took this camper out our very first time to Moab. Um, to Moab, and we wanted. I got a little cheat sheet here. Um, we had to say thank you to the people at Bishes, right? The Bishes in American Fort. In American Fort. Mm -hmm. I originally spoke with PJ. Oh, in she sales. called PJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So PJ was our salesman. He was awesome. PJ was cool. Got us exactly what we wanted. When we bought this thing and rolled out, it was ready to drive just on the side of the road yeah and i do feel bad because they were originally planning on us coming the next day yeah and we 
were able to pick it up the day that we originally called PJ. So they made it happen really quick, really easy. One day it was super cool. Yeah. Everyone stayed late, which uh, I felt super bad for. <laughs> yeah, but they were more than willing. It was awesome. Um, yeah, Dustin helped a ton. Uh, he walked us through the whole trailer. Very thorough walkthrough. Yeah, he showed me how to question. winterize it, unwinterize it. And then Bailey helped get us a couple different things yeah. That's why is that we need an add-on. Kind of cool. Which was really helpful. Yeah. And then uh, Ryan was awesome to talk with. I really had a great time. Yeah, Ryan was awesome. He yeah. He's in finance. He helps finalize everything. That, yeah, definitely awesome. recommend um, the Bish is an American Fork, but really yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with any of the Bish locations. No, that was super so. cool. Well, for the fun part, what was your favorite part about the RV? Um, the heater. <laughs> Mine was well, the heater. Yeah, with kids, I think... <laughs> Definitely having the heater, and then it was a little windy when we went out. Um, so being able to stack everyone in and keep us all warm. I got to take an outdoor shower. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Water heater worked great. Yeah, yeah, water <laughs> no heater complaints. did its job. Um, Gavin did have one complaint. <laughs> hey, the only thing that I don't like, I'm fine with this one right here. But I tell you what, over here, when you're trying to sleep in this bed with your little kiddo <laughs> i had to do a little fixing upper right here i'm gonna look for a little boot but um that green light oh my gosh that was the brightest light i've ever had to sleep next to let's see if i can pull this off i went at it um yeah i would definitely recommend covering that up if you're gonna sleep in there don't sleep with that light on oh my gosh that was bad <laughs> Or you can just sleep in the front. <laughs> yeah. That works too. Yeah. Anyways, we wanted to thank you guys out at uh, Fork. American Fork. I think. Wherever it yeah. is. We wanted to thank you guys. You did a great job and we're very, very happy with yeah, it. Yeah, you guys are awesome. You have a great team. So. Cool. Couldn't recommend you more. Yep. <laughs> Till next time. Yep. See, See y'all.